Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to share four cards using snowflakes. They are the perfect cards to send out throughout the winter season and they are great for any occasion. For all my cards today I will be using products from the latest Simon's Stamp card kit, so let's take a quick look on what's included and then I will move on and make my cards. Also, I do have a giveaway on my blog. If you want to win this card kit, make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment there. So first of all, you will get a lovely embossing folder. It's full of snowflakes and it's one of those embossing folders that are the 3D ones that you get a really embossed and debossed look. Very dimensional. Also keep in mind that if you like a product, you don't have to get the whole kit. You can get products individually and you will find links down below. However, if you get them in a bundle as a kit, you will get a better deal. Let's move on to the stamp set. This is a big stamp set with many different designs of snowflakes, bigger and smaller. Three of the sentiments are in a circle, so you can cut them out and stick them at the center of your snowflake. There are many more sentiments to use, as well as a border of uh, snowflakes at the top. And since this kit is all about snowflakes, you get a die of a lovely snowflake as well. I like the size of it because it can uh, be a focal point on the front of your card. Now let's take a look at the 6x6 papers. You get lovely designs in a soft as well as brighter colors. I like the bouquet look that you get and uh, I think that they are perfect for just sticking a snowflake on top and add the sentiment. These are all double-sided papers and uh, they are quite thick, so they are nice and sturdy. In the kit you will also get four envelopes in three different colors and this amazing one with the iridescent uh, shine. This is one of those envelopes that is going to stay in my stash and I'm just going to hoard it and never send it away. Anyway, you will get um, glue, white glue in a bottle by Simon Says Stamp, as well as this confetti, which is perfect for shaker cards. And uh, let's move on to the cardstock. Four different pages. One of them is really shiny and iridescent. Lovely and I will be using that as well. So let's move on and create a few cards. You don't have to make complicated cards or overthink them. By playing with these papers and all the things that you get in the kit, you can make really beautiful cards in no time. For die cutting the snowflake out of the silver cardstock, just because that cardstock is more on the thicker side, I did use a metal shim and I did get a good die cut, as you can see, perfect. But for the rest of uh, the snowflakes that I will be using on my next cards, I won't be using the metal shim at all. It cuts 80 pounds cardstock just fine. Now I'm using my Sizzix machine and this is the Big Shot and uh, I'm running through the embossing folder. I found that using the main platform and just a cutting plate on top did the trick. And here is a close-up look where you can hopefully see all that lovely dimension. Now I'm going to do some embossing and uh, I'm working with my Versamark ink. I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments from the stamp set that says Missing you so much. I'm going to stamp that with a Versamark ink and then apply on top silver embossing powder. I'm going to heat set that and I love how you get uh, sentiments in the stamp set that they are really small so you can cut them out with a circle and stick them at the center of your snowflakes. It really creates a lovely focal point. So you see I used these two little circles from uh, this die set by Waffle Flower and if you don't have an nested uh, circle die set, grab one. It's one of those products that you have in your stash that you will be using throughout the years again and again. So I cut one circle out of the silver cardstock and the other one has my sentiment. It's uh, from white cardstock and it's slightly smaller. So I can stick one on top of the other and this way I have a lovely silver a ring all around my sentiment. Then I'm going to add the foam square at the back and I'm going to pop the sentiment at the center of my snowflake. This way I create a lovely focal point. I like the size of it and uh, you can repeat the same design again and again by just sticking such a focal point on top of a pattern paper included in the kit. I'm going to show you how you can make a really elegant card in a white and silver color combination and then I move on to more bluish cards which are I think perfect for winter. So you see I did matte the white embossed panel with some silver cardstock and then at the center I'm going to stick the snowflake. You can call this card done but if you are like me you have to add a few gems here and there and I think that gems and snowflakes go lovely together so I'm just adding a few silver ones here and there 
Here is a close-up look on the finished card. I am absolutely in love with it. I find it so elegant. And don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know down below which one is your favorite from all the four cards that I'm sharing today. For my next card, I chose one of the pattern papers from the kit and uh, then I'm going to place on top the border with the snowflakes. I'm going to stamp that with Versa marking and then apply on top white embossing powder. And you can have similar looking cards if you do the emboss resist technique where you stamp and emboss with white on white and then all you have to do is to ink up uh, the background which is going to reveal the lovely embossed uh, design. Now for my card I didn't want to use the whole thing to cover up the background so I'm just cutting out a panel and uh, I'm going to add a very thin strip of silver cardstock at the bottom. You can stick that down with your glue, I'm using here double sided tape and this way I add a touch of shine on my card. Now I can stick that on top of my card base and I do have foam tape at the back. And all I have to do is to add a sentiment. For that I decided to go with the one that says Winter Greetings, which I did uh, emboss with silver embossing powder. And of course I finished off my card by adding a few gems by following the design of the snowflakes. So they are not just scattered around. You will find that they are added at the center of the snowflakes as well as at the edges. It's a really lovely card and you can make similar ones either by changing up the background pattern paper or by working on colored cardstock. Now for my next card I'm going for a shaker card. I'm using a rectangle stitched die as well as the snowflake at the center which is going to die cut a little window. I'm not going to throw away the snowflake. I will be using that for the next card. However, I'm going to use the negative for this one. Now if you want you can just stick it on top of your pattern paper and at the center you have enough space to stamp a sentiment and there are tiny little sentiments in the stamp set that fit right in there. However, I'm going for a shaker card, so I did add some glue and I'm sticking on top uh, my acetate. This way I have a lovely window and while this is still flat, I'm going to stamp my sentiment before it gets bulky with all the foam tape that I added at the back. I went again with winter greetings and uh, I'm going to stamp that with an ink that it matches perfectly with the background. Just look at your stars and find the shade of blue that you have that works lovely with your background pattern paper. Then I'm going to bring in my foam tape and I'm going to create a rectangle all around the snowflake. So all the shaker elements are going to stay contained just behind the snowflake. Of course for the shaker elements I am using the ones that were included in the kit. I love them because they are super flat and tiny, they are white but iridescent at the same time. Now just stick this on top of a pre-folded card and you have a lovely winter card. If you notice I did add some gems just because I cannot stay away from them at the tips of the snowflake. And finally let's move on to the fourth card for today. This time I'm going with a more vibrant background and I chose the one that has that lovely bouquet and the really vibrant blue and greenish colors. This is going to provide the perfect background for the snowflake that uh, I have. I did die cut that one from the previous card and I did stack a couple more one on top of the other to make it look thicker and have more dimension. For stacking together such intricate designs, I always like to go the hard way with my white glue just because this way when I place one design on top of the other I can easily slide it and make sure that uh, they fit perfectly together. Now for this card I decided to go with a landscape orientation. So I'm going to stick with a foam square at the back, my snowflake at the center and then all I have to do to finish off my card is to add a sentiment. For that I used uh, one of my stitched banner dies to die cut uh, the um, sentiment strip and then stamped on top, miss you. And really with all these snowflake cards you can go with any sentiments that you like. They really fit any occasion and they would be perfect for both masculine and feminine cards. A list of everything I used for creating my cards is linked down below in the description area. Don't forget to leave me a comment and also visit my blog for a chance to win this card kit. I hope that you had fun today and that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and have a lovely day.